Hi, my name is Brandi Morinoe. I'm a physician assistant, and today I'm going to be doing an injection on a leg vein. We're going to be using sodium um, tetradecol or sotradecol to inject inside the um, larger green veins, which are feeding into the red veins. Um, we're going to collapse the large vessels, and then after that, we'll collapse the small vessels. So this is a vein light. It's a special light that brings out the the vein and showed us, shows us the veins that are feeding underneath to this dark colored spot here. So I'm going to inject the feeders is what we call it, the dark, the dark green veins first. So we just finished up injecting her veins and as you can see it looks a lot better. Over the next few days, it'll start looking worse, and it'll start getting purplish and looking bruised. The way that we keep them shut the best is by using support hose and by walking. We usually have the patient come back in two weeks for a follow-up, so we can get rid of the old blood that's been trapped in, in the vein. And then after that, you're, it's pretty much done. People we've been finding only need one, um, one treatment, but sometimes you might need you know, between two and six, depending on the severity of the, of the vein.